Hey guys, it's me, Vic. So one, two, three, with some team Claymore gameplay. This was another challenging gameplay, and you'll notice if you watch this gameplay quite carefully, we start off at the beginning and we're struggling, and as the game goes on, we kind of learn how the enemy team are moving around. We end up playing better as a team, not suiciding as much as that, but actually in team Claymore, that's a benefit because our team got a kill and they didn't. So you notice we became you know better at judging the enemy team, moving around the map as a team, calling out people. I'm actually going to switch into game chat for a little segment of the video a little bit later on but yeah that's what we managed to do and for me I think that's one of the things that defines gaming and makes video games fun for me and I think it's the same for most people even though you might not realize it directly um, it's, it's going through a learning curve and becoming better at something that I think is very enjoyable and with Call of Duty I've been playing it since COD 4 and it's got to a point with me where you know running around with a gun, throwing nades and that kind of stuff, there's no real improvement from where I am, you know, maybe sometimes I can be a little more accurate, but, you know, it doesn't make much difference. Often how well I do in a game depends more on, over time, depends more on the enemy team and how lucky I am, rather than, you know, increasing my skill level, maybe my accuracy goes up a little bit. But as a general, you know, I've reached a flat tier with respect to that. And, uh, it makes the game, you know, a little less enjoyable when, you know, you can't improve because that's what everyone tries to do in everything. You try and improve, isn't it? And that is why I love these gameplays so much because it brings in some something completely new and completely different. There's a whole new play style with playing with the Claymore. We have to get teamwork, we have to stomp people up, sneak up, you know, learn whether it's worth, you know, rushing in and trying to drop a Claymore, waiting for them to finish their clip, taking them out like that. You know, because sometimes you'll be waiting for someone to run out of bullets, you can drop your claim or someone else will shoot you in the back. Like there, um, what was I doing there? See, that was a mistake, but I learned from that mistake, and then the next time I try it again, it goes a little better. So, that is the reason I love doing these gameplays, just because there is scope for improvement, you know, it's just a different thing, it's a different setup. That's, I think, one of the reasons I've been really enjoying my Minecraft Hunger Games at the moment, because I'm, you know, improving in my player versus player abilities on Minecraft, learning different ways of doing stuff, which is always fun. So, that is what I thought I would open with, just an interesting way to look at how gaming is just another form of improvement and you're actually going to see me make an improvement right here so I spot this guy just coming out of this train here I decide to space out my stuns just one and then run up and then get the second just to keep him stunned for longer so I can easily pick up that kill then a tactical suicide right here even though I had another claymore it would have been more useful to respawn get some stuns so I can help out my teammate here with a bit of teamwork so that is the gameplay that is going on I'm actually going to cut into game chat in a moment so you guys can hear that but uh and then after that, I'm going to do a Q&A. But first of all, I have some uprising DLC download codes for PS3 to give away to you guys. Usually, I get the codes on Xbox because the DLC is on there first. But this time around, I have some PS3 codes. So the way I'm going to be giving those away is I'm going to give away two on my Facebook page. There's a Facebook post in the description. If you just like that post, um, then I'll pick someone who does that to send one of two codes to there. I'll give away two on Twitter, so there'll be a click to tweet link in the description if you want to go on Twitter and tweet that out. I'll pick someone who follows me on there to give that one to. And if you have neither of those, even though you should have both of those, because social media is awesome, then if you just leave any comment on this video, any at all, I will randomly pick one of the comments to send a DLC code to them for and I'll do that in three days from when this video is uploaded and I'll put that date in the description if you guys would be interested in picking up a an uprising DLC code for PS3 so that is all that stuff and now we're gonna jump into game chat so you guys can hear a bit of the teamwork going on Tom I'll put more stuns in Tom I got more stuns in go on Tom that's yours come on move yeah oh my god I got this I got this Oh god, they need help. Nice. I'm coming. We've got the. Oh, oh, no. oh, one got me mid map on the stairs. Two train tracks. Nice side. Oh shit, I'm in trouble here. I got the. I'll help I you train track if you need. Yes, Stunned him. Two mid, two mid. Behind us. Oh, oh. no, okay. They're on train track. Oh, now. go get him, go get him. That's, that's it, that's the one. That's the one. I'm just... Oh, I'm just gonna stand there. Just gonna split quad. Wow, Charlie. Just gonna split quad. 
So there we go, that was what was going on in the game chat. I might add that we weren't, like, I hadn't told anyone that was going to be part of a video. We weren't exactly live commentating as it were. But that's what goes on behind the videos while I'm talking away. That's what the team are going on with. Just, uh, you know, keeping keeping the, uh, the voice time to a minimum just to uh, call out positions of enemies, get that flank, the teamwork going on. So anyway, that is the gameplay, the giveaway, the discussion. And now what I thought I'd do for this last section of the video is just answer actually just one question so a lot of my um a lot of my subscribers are in you know school high school middle school college um whatever school or you know university or whatever and are faced with exams and one thing i get asked a lot is you know because i spend a lot of time doing all my youtube videos it's something like five videos a day across my three channels and then i'm doing um you know some quite quite i guess learning heavy subjects, science and maths, there's a lot of kind of memorising to be done, a lot to learn in terms of content with my subjects. A lot of people ask how I manage it and how exactly I revise. And this I found to be the most efficient way for myself to revise and learn things. Obviously everyone has their own different ways, but what I thought I'd do is I'd share this with you guys and just let you uh, let you know what it is that I do. You can try it out. You never know. It might work for you. It might not be your kind of thing, but uh, a lot of people have been asking this. So what I tend to do with anything that I have to learn, you know, any syllabus, basically what I do is I answer questions. First of all, I read up. I read a lot of the stuff, you know, I'll maybe read the uh, textbook or revision guide once or twice over just to get kind of a basic understanding in, in, my, in my head. And then what I'll do is I'll start answering questions on them. And even when I don't really know the answer to them, if there's a question I don't know the answer to, what I'll do is I'll find the answer out and then I'll write it down on a piece of paper. And every question I get to that I can't do, I'll write down those um, you know, the, the answers to those questions or the explanations to those sort of things. I just got destroyed by a train right there. What I'll do is I'll write those down and then I'll memorise those at the end of the day or at the end of the set, you know, revision session by literally writing them out over and over again on a piece of A4 paper. Um, about I'll write them out about 10 times in a row. Then I'll start a new piece of paper. I'll cover the old ones and I'll try and write it from memory. Try and do that five times, then come back an hour later, write them out again. And that usually means that, you know, that's, I found the fastest way just to learn stuff like that. And then um, I've just got a sheet of paper that I need to learn. And that usually works out for me in the long run. It is, you know, time intensive, just memorizing stuff. I do hate it, but it's something that has to be done. And, you know, usually I will complain about learning stuff, just being memorizing stuff. But really to develop an understanding of anything, you have to learn the facts about it first. So it's a necessary evil. But anyway, that was Team Claymore gameplay. Almost pulled off a positive kill death ratio. Even I've got that unlucky death at the end. I would have been neutral, but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free to leave a like, create, and leave some thoughts in the comment section. And check out some other random weapon gameplays by clicking the links on the screen right now.